Hello, welcome to ExcelExperts.com. This is the VBA tip section, and today we're having a look at how to return a file path. So here's what we're trying to do. We've got, let's say, nothing in here, and we click this button. It brings up a dialog box. We click on a file, we click open, and in the cell here, it returns the file path. So if you want to follow along with this tip, you go to xlexperts.com and on search the site, just type get a file path and you'll come up to VBA tips number 16. And you also have access to other Excel, VBA and finance training videos. And you can download the spreadsheet example and the code and the explanation here. So let's have a look at our code. All I've done is I've assigned it to a button. So if I right click assign macro edit, this is the code. It's called get file path. It's very simple, very quick. So what we do is we create a variable and we say this variable is equal to application dot get open file name. And we pass in the request to get text files. So we can change this to whatever we want. So we could do Excel files or Word files or any type of files or combination of files even. So if I click F8, this brings up, step through this, this brings up the, the open file dialog box. We can navigate to wherever we want, my documents or whatever, but in this case, I've just chosen my C drive. And if I click text file, click open, doesn't actually open it. All it does is it returns the location of that file to the file path variable. I then need to check if file path is false. If it's false, it means I've pressed the cancel button, which I haven't done in this case. I'll step through that, and then what it's going to do is to put, I'll just clear this. It will put the value of the file path in range D6. There you go. And that's how to get a file path. So this is useful in that if you've got a configuration sheet and you're looking to change the config file, um, you can very easily do it by browsing for it and, and not messing around with typing in file paths yourself. You've been listening to excelexperts.com on the VBA tip section.